As we know, there are two types of nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. DNA is the genetic material in humans, whereas RNA assists in protein synthesis. The full form of RNA is ribonucleic acid. Ribo stands for ribosugar. Similar to DNA, RNA is also a polymer of nucleotides. It consists of ribosugar, phosphate group and a nitrogenous base. However, there are some differences which we will look into. RNA nucleotide consists of a ribosugar unlike DNA that has a deoxyribosugar. RNA also has two types of nitrogenous bases. They are purines and pyrimidines. An important thing to remember is RNA does not have the pyrimidine thymine. Thymine is replaced by uracil. There are different types of RNA but in this video we shall look into three major types. The first one is messenger RNA that's mRNA, ribosomal RNA that's rRNA and transfer RNA that's tRNA. Each of them have a specific function but altogether their main role is to assist in protein synthesis. I'll explain how the types of RNA help in protein synthesis with an analogy. We all know that the ribosome is the protein producing factory of a cell. To prepare proteins, three things are required. The recipe to prepare the proteins, the ingredients and the machinery. Here mRNA has the recipe. The ingredients are brought by tRNA and rRNA is the machinery needed to prepare the protein. Suppose this is a cell with a ribosome in it. Messenger RNA, that's mRNA, present in the cytoplasm brings the recipe to the factory. tRNA, that's transfer RNA, carries the ingredients to the factory. These ingredients are basically amino acids. rRNA, that's ribosomal RNA, present in the ribosome, helps in the production of proteins. We shall do a quick recap on the types of RNA. Messenger RNA. It acts as a messenger and carries information of protein synthesis from DNA in the nucleus to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. Ribosomal RNA. It is present in the ribosome and assists in protein synthesis. Transfer RNA. They carry the amino acids needed for protein synthesis and transfer it to the ribosome. 